I'm hitting close to like uh, the five tens. I'm hoping that because I've got two characters, I'll be able to roll them close to five twenty. Um, by the time the raid's coming out, Sweet. and I'm hoping that's going to be high enough for me, because then it would be if I'm close to five twenty, I'll technically be close enough, I think, to run the raid, because I believe the raid is five forty. And with a five. Yeah, you should be able to make it through the first encounter at five twenty, maybe even five fifteen. And especially since they it got delayed, um, because of the whole delayed. Uh, the raid got delayed? It's not supposed yeah. to be Friday now? Uh, I heard that it got delayed because of the, the glitch. Yeah, they accidentally reset two of the things on Saturday at whatever time. These crystals are pure crystallized soul. They must be the source of the energy spike. Yeah. So, um, I heard that that was... Um, That they delayed it. Okay. Um, because of that. I, d I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah. Like, I have not been keeping up with the uh, the Super Destiny the news. But. The physical properties of the surrounding rock. Um. Rapid organic growth is occurring. It's a spawning ground. Do I have. Um. But yeah, it definitely could be something that um, that you got to deal with. Might give you a little bit more time. Well, and if I can't be there for Worlds first, that's not the end of the world. Um, I I'd like to just go, yeah. just try it at launch. Uh, I'd like to get back into radio on a regular basis, which I found a good group to do so with, which is nice. I've translated what oh, nice. Just because Dad's game isn't working uh, for me with being East Coast or West Coast. They're mostly East Coast. Yep. Um, and I can't play with Donnie. Donnie's just too toxic for me. It's just, it was starting to get to me. All good. So, he can be a little over the top, that's for sure. Well, I just felt like there's just too many like excuses. There's always an excuse for whatever. So I just. Mm hmm. I want to get better. I don't want to be making excuses why I can't. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. So are you, uh, you tried you're bows yet? Right oh, you haven't really launched in then. Uh, I tried bows at PAX. Um, and... Sucked with them pretty much right out the gate. Um, but I've always been really just god-awful with, precision. like, snipers or anything that... Yeah, hey, I mean, I'm good bows. with... Greatly appreciated with with hand cannons mm -hmm. but i've not i say i'm great with hand cannons that's a well right now you want to stay away from hand cannons they're bugged i know i know that's kind of the other reason i'm like you know what i don't want to deal because my favorite my better devil is like my baby yeah uh did you uh hear about the uh, bug with um the um Night Stalker Blade. Uh, it wasn't. Uh, it's not registering the, properly. It won't hit red. Yeah. Yeah. I, I as soon as I saw that. a video of it, I, I commented and I said, "Thank you for sharing this." Because I said I thought that it was just me being a crappy player, and then I saw that, and I was just like, "Oh, thank goodness, it's not just me." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No kidding. It is crazy how. How, uh, how bad when you when you watch it you're like oh Jesus Christ. Well, and they make it. He makes it so awful. so clear. They show what's happening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, but the thing I didn't understand is why was he showing it against 
uh, another player in super? Is it is it only uh, hit registration it's hit, on it's hit registration? It's something super? to do with. I don't know if it's hit registration or if it's hit damage seems to be greatly reduced on them if you're hitting someone with a super. But that is what I have noticed. Is I'll come around the corner. I already have my super uh, activated. I'll hit the guy with theirs, and I just get absolutely noped. I'm like, what is the point of me going around in my super if they can just do the absolute nope to me on that? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's, <coughs> that's some silliness. So, you know, uh, and that's where it's like, okay, well, I guess I've got to, you know, go up, stick with my Arc Strider because my Arc Strider is more consistent. You know, I, I still honestly, if you're hitting someone with a super. Unless they have a full masterwork set, which like no one's really running the Crucible right now, um, yeah. There's, there's no reason for someone super to not kill someone on the first swing. I, I can't think of any valid reason why that would be. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense why um, why a super wouldn't automatically kill. Yeah. Someone else in another well, uh, it, who it, isn't in a it, super. It gives their them an advantage if they can kill you when they're in their super, but you can't kill them. It it makes the playing field very uneven for how you're going to engage these people. Why should I run my hunter in the crucible right now? I love my hunter, but if he's not going to be able to be competitive and counter super. Because super is the ultimate thing, and if you get enough of a bankroll, you can get two, three, four supers in one match. So there needs to be a way yeah. to um, talk that through and work that out. I'd still like to see a little bit more love for sure. uh, Hunter, just for uh, Golden Gun Wandering. Um, it still feels really short. It's not bad. Um, I could probably use it, but it's just, I don't know, they don't feel as versatile as like, okay, well, Titans have their shoulder charge back, so now uh, I've got, I've got a lot that I have to, uh, compete with for that for, I have to be very careful who's rushing me in, because they probably are going to have that, I guess is what I'd be saying. Yeah. That's our target. Careful, guard. Yeah, and that, that's, you're, you're much more likely to be conservative with a with just rushing in on someone because of the fact that if they're running at you they m might have a shoulder charge yeah or shotgun or shotgun yeah now the shotguns are actually somewhat with it again hey fx welcome to the stream man happy to have you by Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Very competitive though. So if you play on PC, you're gonna you're gonna meet some real grindy people. I play on Xbox, which is a very small community. It's a lot easier to become a giant in there than uh, any of the other ones. All your competitive people, they're all in uh, PlayStation and PC. seen videos of people like insta killing like knockers which is the strike I'm doing right now but it just doesn't make sense because like when I when we start doing damage always get the immunity like halfway through we get yeah. the immunity it's like okay well why am I getting hit with immunity but these people didn't get hit with it so I'm not calling them a liar it's just how are they working around and or doing so much damage to actually prevent the immunity from affecting them. Yeah, I got no I got nothing. Got nothing for you, man. Uh, it's a first person shooter. Um, think Space Cowboys is uh, often one of the things everyone says. Think Space Cowboys as a first person shooter. Space Wizard, thank you very much. <laughs> I am a hunter and we are cowboys. 
Wizard. <laughs> so for some people, maybe wizards, for some people, it's cowboys. As I recall in, in uh, de the uh, stream, they called them space cowboys. And twat. Oh, I, I loved Aerodite and uh, Cyborg's response to twab. They're like, are, are you guys actually serious? Like, you guys are actually call it now, after all of these years of us saying twab, you are now gonna say twab? Well, they're just livid about that. Like, how, how could you do this to us? Actually, I should tweet at them and ask them if they've uh, gotten any discussion out of them about uh, twab over twab. See, and I love bows. Like, I, but I'm also like a huge sniper fan. You're still working on all the new uh, yeah, subclasses, huh? Uh, so yeah, Dingo or Dingo, uh, the um, guy I'm running right now, I have a bow on. I can equip it. So uh, here's all the weapons. Do I have something? Oh, that's not. Uh, Ooh, I've got a sidearm with outlaw and trip. Uh, tap the trigger. That sounds nice. Oh, nice. Um, so for this character, I was running a bow, but I can easily, as you can see, swap it off for something else, so that I wouldn't be quite like Hanzo. But Han, like to link it to Overwatch, all you've got three different characters. You've got a warlock, a hunter, and a titan. They all have different abilities, and then they have so this is like so. See, he's got three different abilities now. I'm running, was running Gunslinger, so here's his Gunslinger abilities. Oh dear, I've only unlocked two of his abilities on this new tree. Nice. Um, so, <laughs> when you are doing this stuff, you can... <coughs> for him, like the super that he has, he does a spin, he does a whole bunch of AoE, basically. Um, also, uh, where else is there? So... You kind of pick how you want to play. If you want to play in the face, then you maybe do more hand cannons, shotguns. Um, if you want to do more long range, a bow, a scout, a pulse rifle. So I would say it's probably more like a COD, but it's got both a PvP and a PvE side. So a little bit more expanded than just story, I would say, because you get to do strikes. There's a raid. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, almost too much in my view. Um, I think they did this to appease the streamers because I don't think they liked all the bad PR they were getting. Uh, so they gave them a lot to do. My only concern is going to be that I'm not going to be able to enjoy half of the game because I just, I don't stream this for eight hours a day. I've got kids, like, I can't stream that much. I'm not, I'm not as uh, big as uh, Sweeps here, you know, with his thousands of uh, viewers and everything daily. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to actually stream to get viewers. Well, when you if you start streaming, you know. when you start streaming again, if you uh, want in, I'll uh, I can uh, get you an invite into uh, Twitch support squad, and uh, I think they actually probably have right. some empty uh, time slots where you'd probably uh, be getting host to a whole bunch and you grow a fair bit. The guy that's actually in my nice. I actually met him through this group. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of streamers. They all. Host, follow, um, technical support, all of that jazz. Technical support. I, you know, I need the. I've I've the learned so support. much about game audio 
or just streaming audio, it is ridiculous. It is, there's so much to know and there's no way of, you can't study it enough. It's, just, it's so much trial and error finding out what does what. I, hot shot. I find. Yeah. Alright. Waypoint. Prison of Elders, welcome. Oh, this is... So there's a new strike out. I... Do you want me to not to tell you about it? Um... Oh, go okay. for it. I, I'm, I'm not a. Yeah, I didn't think you would be, but you know, just don't sure assume you. Uh, so there's a. Uh, you remember the uh, Prison of Elders? Yep. So you actually do a strike where you go back into Prison of Elders and you actually handle like disarming the mines and all of that. Oh really? Yeah. Which I thought was really cool. Blackout song. What are the other in here? Arc. Good, I'm I'm doing a solar and void build. Arc is awesome. That's great. I'll get this that, that helps me and not have wall. And maybe find the lights. The warden's servitor blocked me from shutting down the whole prisoner transport system. Excuse me. So watch the rails. Long road ahead of you. We won't get this prison in order if you don't find that servitor and put a bullet in it. <laughs> I just watched a guy, he almost ran in front of a train. Uh, oh, thank you. No trains. I, um, so True Vanguard, who is a you love trains. Destiny streamer. He only just managed to com uh, complete the nightfall, just like this morning. Yeah. I could not. When I saw it, I was like, had. because I was trying to do it like last week, because I was like five oh five or something. I was like, yeah, let's see what we can do. No, no, it it, it does. It really doesn't work. Just not even an option. No, huh? we, like, and I was I was doing this very strike. And I got all the way to where, yeah, you're like in the prison of elders again. You gotta disarm the bombs. Too many ads. Too many ads. Like you, you just—it was just an absolute clear no. You don't get to uh, take them out. Uh, they were because they could two-shot you. Yeah, nothing like an uh, unexpected train smash. It sends you flying. You go ragdoll, and you watch your character go through all sorts of walls and funniness. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it, there was just no deep, there was no DPS, there was no real, like we tried going around different ways, but because you got these mines, you gotta go disarm and you gotta stand on them and disarm them, too many ads around and you were timed to get there in time, so you couldn't race through it, and you couldn't take your time. Yeah. That's too bad. So, well, but it was like, okay, well, we're not high enough power yet. That, that was what we ultimately took from that was, because we were like, well, should we start with doing DPS or should we go for a score? I said, no, let's just try and get a completion before we start worrying about scores. And uh, we still couldn't, like, we, we gave ourselves what? all the modifiers, like, extra power, easier on the difficulty. We did everything to make it as easy as possible so we could get the accomplishment. Nope. Wasn't enough. <laughs> that is rough. So I was like, okay, well, we're not ready for this content yet. That's always the fun part, though, is to. I, I really don't mind that. I don't mind uh, getting smacked down. I don't because either. I'm, like, it, it's fun to try. Like, okay, let's try it. And let's see what we can do. <laughs> Just the ability to. To know that there's still stuff to do. Nice coming by. Thanks. Without Go burning. Work, get it. Don't worry. Yeah. So. Yeah. Without without burning through it in the first week. Yeah. Well, and that's a lot of the streamers have said like this is so nice. When you finish the story, it's like okay, good job. Now here's another two thousand hours worth of content that you need to run. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, and no, thank you. Unique. Okay. Silver flask, nice. Oh, 
No dying. I just got looped by a train. Important target, Guardian. <coughs> Booped by a train does not sound like a fun time. <coughs> I went and bought a whole bunch of uh, simple foods just because I got this stupid cold and I'm trying to get better so I can enjoy the last of my vacation time. Yeah. Isn't it always the case that you, uh... You plan a vacation and then you get sick yep. right as you're about to start your vacation. Yep. I always hated that. Cabal War Machine is on the mark. Oh, hold on, I gotta take a phone call. Yeah. So, the Wraith captured some Red Legion. Hello. You left the Cabal scattered after the Red War. Wraith scooped some up. They took your tower. You took their dignity. Well, that's fun and exciting. Well, you got a call to work? No, I uh, I got a call to schedule the repair work on my truck. Hey! Um, that takes yeah, a while. finally getting it fixed. Why does it take so long for you guys to get the work done? Well, because I was trying to be nice, and I told the guy. Uh, the owner of the company that, uh, of the truck that, that oh, hit yeah. me, or that hit my truck, well, that, truck. that, uh, I, yeah, that I was willing to work with him on trying to not go through insurance, mm -hmm. and then it just ended up that it was going to cost too much for him to do that, so he was like, I can't, I gotta go through insurance. I was like, okay, that's fine. But then I got had to go through the whole like got to talk to an adjuster and all of that jazz to to get that process started, and so it's just a whole lot of shit. Well, at least between this one and the so, last one, like none of that was your fault, so your rates not changing. Yeah, no, uh, it, it won't affect my insurance rates at all. Um, shoot, I wasn't even in the truck. Um, when this one happened, yours, your vehicle literally parked in a girl in a parking spot. Yeah, yeah, and you managed to to beefcake it. So, How, like, does it uh, drive time was, still, or does it? Oh yeah, yeah. It didn't. It didn't do anything to um to any of the the. The alignment, or it didn't even break the the light bulbs. It broke the housing for the light, oh, okay. but it didn't break any of the. Uh, it didn't break the bulbs, and it didn't break the casings that have the the color panel in them. So it's still completely legal, and it drives just fine. It's yeah. just looks like a pile of shit. <laughs> so, 
that's the that's the hard thing. Is like I would like for it to have been done like a month ago. You survived but prison what can you do? Elders. So waits below. It calls so, yeah. to you. Yes. But it's scheduled now. Retreat to Airline. And I will that drop it off. Put a whole um, in front of you just to keep you the twenty fourth. You survived. <laughs> well, President, up. the you vault fought. is like all raided. You There's no gold that. here now. Your treasure awaits. This is my first time completing the strike. <laughs> Looks like the trickster left you. Oh, really? Oh, no. But she made nah. it. That's exciting. Uh, That's the backup control room. Okay. Where the warden's servitor keeps his closest friends and angriest inmates. Good luck. I thought we were done, and apparently not. Now I'm confused. Let's see. An old friend is here. Oh. Judgment. That. Ah. Thanks, sir. You have an army? Careful. Where the heck am I supposed to go? I just wanted to help one of my favorite There we are, okay. Guy can't do that. I thought this was a new golden age. <sighs> kind to each other. Am I right? I'm sorry. You're the sorriest thing I ever saw. Well, and they went back to the uh, that you can access your triumphs at all times, which is nice. Yeah, I did see that. Which I was like, I, okay, good. I'm glad uh, that that's because I don't like grinding stuff when I don't know whether it's going to be included in it or not. Yeah. Now you can at least tell. Yeah. And Dreaming City is hard. When you get in there, you're level 500. <laughs> Everything's like 520 and higher. Nice. So you can come around a corner and there's like a four, um, a 540 standing there. He just one shots you and you're dead, and you're like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess that works. Kind of sucks, but. I am now coming up on fourteen hundred. Oh, of your uh, fourteen hundred what? Uh, triumph for my triumph score. So it gives you a certain. For, you mean fourteen thousand or fourteen hundred? Fourteen thousand, one thousand three hundred seven, thirteen thousand seven hundred. There. I'm, gotcha. I'm a little okay. bit out of there. I was like, you've done a whole lot more stuff than I have, and I'm not. And I was at five fifty five hundred. Yeah, I started Online. off pretty much at 7,000, I think. Um, I, they actually had uh, D1 in here, which I thought was really cool. Oh, they did? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, uh, where I is didn't it? remember that. Uh, here. Where is it? Uh, events, destinations, account. I think it was under account. Um. Oh, you know what they did because I do remember that because there was something that, um, that you had had to have completed. Not account. Maybe it's events. Gambit, War, Bangor, Crucible, events. Oh, not events because that one's not even unlockable yet. Where did they put it? I, I remembered seeing it, but I don't, I don't remember where oh, it yeah, was. There, I think this is Vanguard campaign strikes campaign. Uh, 
I know I saw something about uh, Oryx. There was something in there about Oryx. Yeah, there's like you you did Vault of Glass, you did Oryx, you did Crota, like. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they didn't have any like points attached to it. It was just you got the. Yeah, you just get to click it. Yeah. Because otherwise it's too you easy the, for us that are, you know, D1 Vanillas to hit those lit, uh, markers while other people are going to have to, like, do everything. And especially people who switch from uh, PlayStation and Xbox to PC because they want to do mouse and keyboard. Well, yeah, I mean, can you imagine someone that started... D2 on PC, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna get all of these nodes, and then they're like, oh, you mean I have to go to a console? That does not sound like fun. No. But when it says, like, hey, we're just recognizing what people have done, so when D3 comes out, you guys will get all the same recognitions then, you know, and they're not worth any points, yeah. so it's not like they're getting it, you just gotta click that back. But I know a lot of people want to uh, crossplay. All of, everything that they've done, oh, they for cross sure. play through. <coughs> Which PC and Xbox, Microsoft will happily do. That's all them. It's all staying in house. They don't care. PlayStation, uh -uh. they'll never do it. I don't, I don't even know if PlayStation on uh, Fortnite will let you play with PC anymore. I think they kind of washed that even. Um, I don't like it. I think. I think. Yeah, not in Fortnite, no. Um. Because some people were but going, they were playing, think... they had a one PC person, and then the Xbox and the PC would link up with that person, and then they had crossplay, and PC just, or PlayStation just went, uh-huh. They did not like that. Yeah. I think there was a level of, um, kind of cheese going on on that front, that, that Sony was like, yeah, that's not, that's not kosher. There's a cheese? Well, you would have to have the 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 PC player. Um, you you had to find a way to get everybody into the same party, and then you could do it. Um, and with linking the, up your the, Xbox with your PC, your Epic handle, and what the person does is they send an invite yeah. to those Epic handles, and by doing so, it then allows the person to play with. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I guess they just said no for that. Okay, well. You know, and I've had some people I was talking to, I think my brother was one over something, I can't remember. It was like, no, it's Xbox, PlayStation wants to. I was like, no, dude. Like, PC, or PlayStation has come out, and they have outright said that they will not entertain this idea. And I get it, they have, they have like some of the biggest shares of the game. Yeah. Well, this, I mean, uh, this, um, console generation, um, they, they, they've led for so long that it's, that it's just kind of like, why would they do it? Yeah. It doesn't make any well, sense absolutely. for them to, to yeah, do and it. And from a business point of view, there's definitely a good argument not to. Yeah. I think I shot the, my fellow guardian in the ass. And a nice arrow sticking in the butt. <laughs> Attack speed. How was your summer? Ah! Uh, not bad. Um, you guys have been the, in school, uh, back in school sessions for a month now, right? No, they just started last Wednesday. All of the states doesn't start at the same time? Nope. Well, you guys make that extra confusing for us to try and relate to you. Mm-hmm. They make it super confusing just for people that live here. To know as to... Yeah, it's all up to the district. It's up to the district? Yeah, to so, like, with... your area could start one week and then next district over, which is what? So, f for you, it would be Seattle would be one district kind of area, and then, like, 
15 minutes north could be another district? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it could be two blocks over, and they'll start different weeks. Ugh. Yeah, you're telling me. You're telling me, man. It is. God's my awful. Well, because, yeah, I, I see in August all of these kids going back to school, and I'm confused as hell, because it's like... Huh? Why, why, why are you guys going? And, and I realize, oh yeah, well, but they get off early. But for me, it's like, you know, uh, my son, to, Friday will be his first full day. Monday was his first half day of kindergarten. And then tomorrow's his second half day of kindergarten. And then after that, after the Friday, he's full time kindergarten, five days a week. Which is awesome. Oh, wow. But it's like, I just looked at this and I'm, this is like, and I told her, I said, this sucks. And I said, next year's gonna just suck. And she says, well, why? And it's like, well, Josiah's gonna be going into grade one next year. So that means on that first Tuesday of September, he's going to go into grade one. But Levi isn't going to go, he's not gonna technically really have his first full week until two weeks after him. That's when his first full week actually starts. So my, for my vacation time, like I may as well take the time off that I took this time. It works well with Destiny release, plus it works well with the kids going to school for me helping get them settled and everything. But it's just like, shake my head. It's like, why are you guys making it so complicated? It's like, and, and I thought, I was just like, just put them in school. I was like, well, no, not all kids are ready for school. It's like, okay, so if there's some kids that are only going to be able to do it so quickly, let them do it that way. Why have we got to hold back other kids? Like Josiah, he is picked. He wants to be in kindergarten now. Yeah, yeah. When for us, it's we've got uh, Lily is going, she just started second grade. And it, she started second grade, what was it, last Wednesday. So this will be her first full week. And um, it, it ends up being um, that she'll, uh, Xander started kindergarten, or pre-K, sorry. He won't start kindergarten until next year. Um, and when he does, he'll have uh, it's some kind of like get to know the school kind of situation where they they go a week before um, school starts um, for three days and they're half days, so they're not full days. Yeah. So it's not like we can just take him to school. Um, and I pick him up after. It's he's only there for a couple hours. Yeah. Yeah. And and then he has two weeks off. What? And then he starts full time school. And Lily starts the the week after his kind of like fresh start kind of thing starts. So he he needs care for two weeks. Why do I keep opening those? God damn it. Does your employer help uh -huh. you with daycare costs and everything, or no? Nope. That sucks. I mean, they help me in that they give me a paycheck. <laughs> but that's about all they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no... Um, I know some places my, help my out with that and so everything, small. and some places don't. Yeah, my employer is so small that yeah. they don't. And honestly, there's only like six or seven employees out of 40 that have kids, kids that aren't like graduated and, yeah. and heading off to college. So it's. And I mean, I understand. I, I didn't expect no. to have any help. So, where's this? I mean, it would have been awesome. Wait, I would have been it? super excited about it. Uh, yeah. Help the most by I uh, targeting it the most uh, critical spots. Yeah, I mean, when we when I first started with the company two and a half years ago, we didn't even have healthcare. Okay, so you remember the Valve uh, strike, um, where you yeah. 
Uh, and he drops down and he crushes the, he the, under the... the... He crushes the Minotaur. Yeah. Yeah, we just killed him. There. Like, he dropped down. We just killed him. Oh, nice. Like, he's dead. He's nice. on the ground here. I used, like, all he my did. grenade launcher. I don't... Back what do they do point. now? But he's not around. Because he's dead. It's really not. Are we gonna go all the way to the end and he's gonna be gone? Cause yeah, like this room used to be so hard because he's you gotta like run around. We're just running through now. I don't know if someone did more damage or if we just all just DPS'd him like. Does anyone else feel like we've done this before? Why do you keep asking that? Okay. I was um, the active ghost last the, time. Yeah, now that's it. If you kill him in that room, never asked that's that. it. Sometimes they give him some health back for the last one. There's something strange nice. about this forest. <laughs> Alrighty. So, um, got a notice this week. Uh, a week or two ago, uh, the area I live in, there was one access in and out, and they're repaving the yeah. road. And oh joy! Uh, so it's been single lane, but tonight at seven o'clock, the road is shut down. Oh no! For twenty-four that is hours awful. minimum. No. So you either have to stay at home. Or, or stay at home. Go do stuff. No, it's you stay at home. Unless you want to go and like pay for <laughs> a house outside and stay there for like the night or whatever. Yeah. So it was yeah. just like, I went. <laughs> <coughs> that is silliness. So I was just like, oh, okay. And so I went out into town. I grabbed some stuff for myself just to make sure I had enough to help get past this cold and did one quick errand and then I was like, okay, let's um let's move on. Okay, that was three. There's the daily mission. Using a subclass. Are you serious? Oh. You've been uh, doing it all wrong, haven't you? Yeah, if, if there's anything that I don't read, I guarantee it's gonna burn me. I, went, I did three strikes, and I was like, okay, well, now I'm going to have that powerful gear. And I looked, and I was like, well, why didn't I get the powerful gear? I have to run the strikes with the same subclass as the burn. <laughs> That's awesome. No, it's not. What? Complete strike using a subclass of the same light element as a team member. All three of those oh, no you have to ran super. It with... Oh, I'm soloed. I'm soloed in them. Let's do this one. Oh, now I got another heat flash going on. Don't like just that, you know, that warm flush when you're battling bugs? Yeah. Did you buy uh, Dead Cells? I did not. I thought about it. Especially after I heard about the... How it's kind of a... Um, uh, like a turn-based kind of situation. I don't know how uh, to like call it turn-based. Not a turn-based. It's, yeah. No, it's not turn-based. Uh, I'm being silly. It's a roguelike. That's the word I was looking for. Where you run the same thing, like you you run until you die, and then yeah, and then you go back and, and you do you... it again, but slowly you're saving up to get better resources for yourself. So yeah, better you gear. Can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I have had situations where I liked those, um, and I've had some that were just awful. Like I was not a huge fan of. Um, what was the one that I really didn't do very well at? Um, 
do, 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 I forget. Um, is it was kind of like a Castlevania, but um, newer on the PC. I can't think of it. I don't know anymore. I'm being silly. <laughs> Well, now uh, Say No to Rage is all on the uh, um, Destiny hype train. Not surprising. I mean, all those guys, they, they're original Destiny guys, so of course they want it to come back. But they just couldn't do it um, without running into issues. We're in the machinist territory now. This one isn't just another name on the list. The machinist is the fanatic's right hand. She commands an arsenal of stolen tech. Human, awoken, foe, cabal, anything she can get her hands on. I'm running the story and I'm getting loading spots. I gotta find out what the cost is of getting a uh, solid state external uh, hard drive for my Xboxes. Um, if you pay shipping, I'll send you one. Serious? Oh, it's Canada. I can come down and pick uh, it up sometime. I'll, I'll best. I'll give her that. that. That's true. Yeah. I can get a cool box for Yeah. Because I've got, I've got a 500 gig one that I'm not. It's just been sitting on my desk that I used for my Xbox 360 and I haven't used since. Is it compatible with the one? I don't know if it yeah. matters or not. Uh, you might have to hook it into your computer and reformat it. Okay. Um, but I mean that's that's not hard. No. Um, I remember for the 360 I had to load a uh, compatibility software on it yep. so that the Xbox 360 would recognize it. But uh, it, it was literally download a file, put it on the on the external and then use it. Yeah. So I I, I thought that was everything's um, working except the two most important not hard. Well, it's, uh, have you ever like do you run a solid state on your Xbox? Nope. Why not? Uh, no need. Do you have an X? I, I never load more than... Uh, I've got a 500, uh, 500 gig hard drive on it. The the reason I'm saying uh, is because uh, the X, the solid states, when you put that on there, your Xbox ends up running similar load times to a uh, X. And I've, oh. I've seen it in action, like, it does that. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So, the only thing then you're not getting is the 4K and the frame rate. Everything else, for the X, you get, just by putting in a solid-state hard drive, external. All the load times. So, like, for you, Pete, Interesting. you know PoE, how it takes time to load it the first time? Gone. Yeah. Huh. People um, have had like uh, 14 second, I think, load times for Destiny. They just click it and it basically loads. It's not like last. I can't remember what time they said, but it, yeah, it just basically loads it. Interesting. And then Destiny, or hmm. but, um, Microsoft is supposed to be coming out with an update that's going to make the Xboxes run like Xs, and the Xs are going to go even quicker. But I don't know when that that's update's going to be coming out.
to go do my strikes again. Okay, tank, you're really scaring me there. My tank is shooting at wall. No, it's on. Last time it did that, it killed me. No! Don't shoot me. I just thought, I, one time I just went up to my tank, and he just randomly just pointed his uh, turret straight at me and just killed me. I was like, and I'm dead. Chariot awaits. <laughs> That sounds like fun. Oh, this is... It seems very appropriate for the AI. Yeah. It's like, hey, you're gonna help me out. Boom. Why did you kill me? It's like, because you're an AI. I had, like, some ad by me, and it, didn't, it couldn't differentiate, so it just shot both of us, and down I went. There's something to be said for shitty AI. I kind of enjoy it, because it, it makes this, you know more realistic. I, I don't think we're ever going to get to the point where an AI is going to be really fully trustworthy. There's always going to need to be that, you know, observance and uh, inspection of what it's reading. Let's check around for power. Yeah. I agree. Uh So I've got a possible job uh, change coming up, and uh, you may see me uh, oh, what? coming on at uh, your times, depending on what it all looks like. I have to see what my days are going to look like. Um, I may be going from to an 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon shift. Really? Yep. Yeah. And I'll be making more money, and it'll be Tuesdays, Wednesdays off. Which I don't like because I don't want to have after work Sundays, but if that's what I gotta do. I guess that's what I gotta do. That means really Tuesday Sunday off? No, uh, Tuesdays Thursdays. Tuesday, no, Tuesday, Tuesdays Wednesdays off. Sorry. Oh, Tuesday Wednesdays off. Yeah. I, I don't know. There's something to be said for having. Week weekdays are really nice to have off because then I can make doctor's appointments and government appointments really easy. Yeah. But not being able to have the weekends off when my kids are off is gonna suck. Yeah, that is true. I guess that is the... It's not gonna be too much longer than I'm not gonna have anything to do with me or my wife, so I guess I can't complain too much about that. I told my wife that she's like, no, they'll always want to be around us. It's like, no, 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 they're they're already separating themselves quite nicely, so it won't be too much longer. My uh, oldest, you do not call him any nicknames. You call him by his legal name. Joe side. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, like, I found that I'm starting to still call him by those names, but I get away with it for whatever reason. Um, I'm like the only person that can really seem to get away with it. Anyway, he gets in a mood, you just call him Joe side. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, two boys, and they're already right. getting into one another's faces now. It's going to be competitive, and wife's just kind of like, oh, you know, how long until they're going to start getting back together again? Like, get along. I'm like, oh, you know, 10, 12, 15 years, somewhere in there. They'll, they'll get along around that time. This is true. Just when they're old enough. To really be just little little craps about everything. I'm detecting huge shipping containers of dark ether. We gotta finish this. To raise a score and army. Or at least make it to the next waypoint Those before I gotta go get my the chicken coop and all that. Oh, uh, Good. 
uh, the chicken started laying eggs. Woo um, that was pretty quick. Yeah, I remember you thought it was going to be a good while when they were... Uh, you know, it could... We knew it was going to be anywhere between, um, like 16 and, um, 24 weeks that they would start laying eggs. Mm -hmm. And so... We got, uh, they started laying right around week 20. So, right, basically right in the middle of yeah. where we thought they would. So, which is great. But, um, other than that, we're, my father-in-law just brought over a whole bunch of um, uh, glass from some windows that he had replaced at his house, and so we're gonna build a um, not a not a true greenhouse, but a um, like portable, like um, like uh, like glass tents. Okay. Um, for our garden in the early springtime so that we can yeah, um yeah so we can move them they'll just be like uh like a mobile like solarium either pyramids or or like long um kind of like just basically glass um um i don't know like te teepees yeah. tents um and then we'll uh, start everything in the garden, just straight in the ground with those over top, because um, I've got I've got everything I need to have a uh, to have uh, an irrigation system underneath them. So um, it'll be great to have all of that um, just kind of right there. Um, so, how big of an area were you thinking of making? Uh, for, for like the, tent, the glass thing. tents. Yeah. Um, they'd be about, um, maybe eight to ten feet long, um, and depending on how the glass kind of fits in, and then, um, just uh, like three or four feet wide. Okay. Um, you can also look into uh. There's a tarp you can buy, and it does exactly that. You just literally take it, you lay it on the ground over top of the plants, and it locks in all the moisture yeah. in there and brings the heat through and helps the plants grow through a lot quicker. And then it may be something that you could roll up yeah. in the wintertime. Yeah, well, I'd like to use real glass um, just because I feel like there's the opportunity for, um, that son of a, um, there's the opportunity to, to use, uh, to really get some good, like, heat conduction, and then I don't have to worry about everything, um, ripping or, or doing all that. I mean, yeah, I know I have to worry about break, about the glass breaking, but, not as worried about that um, just because we've got so much glass because uh, he he replaced pretty much all the windows in his house so you got no shortage of uh, glass yeah pretty much Are they all single panes or uh yeah yeah so uh, so much ice. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, we're gonna have just a shit ton of it. And single pane, it. I mean, if a kid throws a rock at it, it's gonna break it. But um, it'll be light enough to where it's not like we're gonna have to be lugging around. Yeah. 
300 pounds worth of glass. Well, with single panes, um, you're not going to be also looking at that much when you want to start buying them from time to time to replace if they break out and be used up. Yeah. Oh, I mean, at that point, we'll probably have already built, like, a true greenhouse. Yeah. Um, I doubt we would be using, um, still using these by the time we manage to break all of them. Well, if you truly believe that, give it as a challenge to your son. Find out what he can do. <laughs> there you go. Because it doesn't want to. Rooftop. Oh yeah. Okay, Miss Machine must come on. Oh, hi. Oh, on. Stupid invisibility, invincibility frames. There's one. Oh, apparently I beat Chevro. Oh, sweet. They're going a lot like easier with these new builds. Yeah. Yeah. No, it is very nice um, to have an actual like guide that I can follow and be like, oh, that's why he made those choices. Um. Um, so yeah, the, uh, I'm following a, a Templar build that I, I had originally, um, was, had been working toward on my very first character, yeah. but I never really understood how to build it properly, and so I was just awful with my first character, and now, I, I think... Other than being stupid, I I haven't really died with this character in any of the um, um, in any of the boss fights. So it's been quite nice. Seven down. Okay, so I've got three of the same grasps. It's almost over. One has a shot uh, momentum transfer, over. another one has a grenade launcher loader, and another one has a sniper rifle loader. Time to end I want to keep all three of them, well, two of them at least. It could very well be all of them. I'm going to have a very big storage pump coming up here soon. Yeah, I know how that goes. Storage is always a. Did you delete all of your um, year one stuff? No, not yet. Destiny. 
Yeah. I, I mean, that's... I've deleted a it's, lot it's, it's of all, it. I've all kept in the... all the um, Masterwork stuff because it actually, it, in some way, it has a random role because it has something that it was built with um, that makes it better than, yeah. if, than the um, stuff that's in... Um, that I could, could access. Yep. We'll I understand that. All right. I really need better gear, though. Oh, man. Unfortunately, I don't have any gear. Well, knowing my luck, I'm probably behind you on uh, that again, even if you started several different characters. It takes me a while to get through all that content. You know, it... It can take um, that would be good. Um, that would be good as well. Oh, they're all helms. Son of a bitch. Um Um, it, it just takes a little bit of, I've already, I mean, I've run through the story three times now, so it's not, not as, not as hard as you would think to get it done. So... I think you could do it. I probably could. I just tried to Fairly find the quickly. Time. Yeah. That's that's the time? What's that? I'm looking forward to when uh, I'll have uh, enough time to spend more with my wife and more to play uh, Destiny and whatever games I want to because my kids won't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> Yeah. When the, you're not cool enough, I, Dad. I don't and think... it's like, okay, well, I'll go and I'll stream and I'll have, you know, these 20 people or whatever watching. We'll have a good time there then. That's okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I even wonder yes, what I'm going to be playing. Like, am I going to be having, do I, will I even have an Xbox? Will I even have a PC? Will there be some new thing in the, in the time between then and now that's going to come out that everyone's going to be moving to that does all of it? Or, like, what's it going to look like? Always good to see you, Guardian. Like, I don't know if my kids are going to get licenses. I, and I've told some people, I said, I don't think my kids, when they grow up, they're going to have licenses. That's actually... Uh, I've... I grew... Uh, I didn't grow up with anybody that, that didn't have a license. But I definitely... Um, uh, when I moved to Seattle... Um, it was it was a long time before some of my coworkers Thanks. before their kids got their driver's license. Yeah. It was it was crazy how long it took, and because they just didn't need them. Well, um, you've got Uber now. You've so, got all these different options. For yeah. Them. So I don't any know, cars though. aren't I, that far. I, I don't think. True. True, but you're still going to need a license to, to drive a self-driving car. You think so? So. Oh, yeah. Because in the end, the law says that you have to have control of the vehicle, and you can't have control of the vehicle well, but what if, unless well, what if you... you didn't own the vehicle anymore? What if it was um, similar to an allotment system? You could be allotted for driving to and from work, and the government owned these vehicles, and they would send them to you as you need it. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's possible, but I doubt it. I, that's a long way off. It is, no, Let's absolutely. Put it that way. It's just fun thinking so. about those things from time to time. Okay. Greetings. Well, I guess I'm going back into strikes again, because I'm an idiot. Very good. Alright, I have to go... Family it up. Grab... Family.
and do all that kind of goodness. So Sweet. I'm signing off, but um, you have fun. Yeah. Enjoy the stream. I'll talk to you later. Don't uh, don't rage too hard against your inventory. No, not against my inventory. Just against me for making me go do three more strikes. <laughs> that's your own damn yeah, fault for not own. reading what you're supposed that, to be that doing. That's correct. So, well, good luck, and I will talk to you later. Talk to you later. Did I do the... Why is the... Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. One moment, guys. We're having some technical difficulties. Uh, that's gone. Let's see if we can jump in someone else's party and like, fix this. He's left, but it's now it's... There it goes. Uh, causes whole sorts of issues. Let's see if he wants to team up and run some. Hey, there's Tennessee. Okay. Hey, thank you for the host. Greatly appreciated. Sorry for not sounding real <coughs> good. <coughs> I not feel so good. Whenever you need me again, Guardian. Inventory. Actually, I wanted destinations. I wanted that first page I had actually brought up. Tennessee. Can you? No. Fudge. Testing. 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 One moment, guys. Stupid glitch is happening again. Time is what five. Your light has not gone out. That's gonna be hopefully better than what I have. Yeah. Unflinching sniper aim, pulse rifle reserves. Power aim. Yeah. I'd sooner have it in that one, honestly. Um now what's going on? It's still connecting? Okay, we're gonna leave the party. Start a party. Connecting. Let's try this again. Oh. Alright, now let's see. There he is. Hey, can you yeah, hear me? I can hear you now. I, I think something. Yeah, I'm out, of, had, I'm out of town, so I've got. Oh, I've got hotel internet. You're on hotel internet. Oh yeah. What are you uh, working on right now? 
I literally just got on. All right. Do you want to run some story missions and some heroics to level up? Sure. Hold on one second. Let me find the remote. There it is. Turn the volume down on the regular TV. Yeah, this is very different than my normal setup. <clears throat> so what what character are you doing? What level are you? Uh, 509, Hunter. Okay. Let me switch to my Titan. Okay. I'll be about the same level. Let me let me finish this public. I'll join you. See how much time it. See how much time it's got. Well, I got a minute thirty-five till it comes. It's gotta go. All right, I'm going like off and on mute because I'm <clears throat> eating a salad while I'm playing. Sounds all good. <laughs> what type of salad? Uh, I don't know. There's like a grocery store. Uh, one of those. Next door to the hotel. So I just, yeah, I just got like a ton. Sensors show an inbound fallen containment cell from the prison of elders. All right, here we go. So, is this your second character name? Or third? Uh, yeah, this one right here. He's basically done everything except for uh, no, kill all the guys, the the yeah. barons or the the adventure ones. Yeah. yeah. You may want to a little bit higher before you start running that stuff. Yeah. Give yourself to be able to stand in that stuff. I'm scared to step in it. Uh, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just gotta stand there until I get it. Actually, I'm basically dead. Oh, that hurt. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Like, one more. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got almost a third left. 
down, get down. If I did that, I'd be dead already. Always happens. And uh, 14 ghosts, that's all you're allowed to hold in any of your inventory. Are really? they ghosts? Yeah. All of a sudden I was picking one up and it was like, hey, you don't have enough inventory for it. I'm like, there's a limit to how many fragmented ghosts you can pick up? It's like, okay, sure, I guess. Are they some form of currency? That's what you pick up the bounties with that um, uh, spider. Okay. How many of those do I have? I got. I've only got ten of them. Alright, let me, uh, I'll go ahead and change characters. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen all the visual issues happening with uh, the latest spider-man movie the um, game on playstation no i haven't it because they do it like the gameplay itself is in high definition plus it's got all of this different stuff to it 
it's just too much for the consoles. They can't. They they're, they're not made to do this. So they've gone and they pushed this product out that I probably wasn't ready. That the what they wanted and what they promised, the software can't. The hardware can't do. So um, it looks like someone took Spider-Man, broke like a whole bunch of his joints, and put him in this tiny ball, and it floats through town. It's supposed to be a cinematic, and he's supposed to be web slinging along in between these buildings. But rather than him web slinging, it looks like this little broken ball of Spider-Man that's like floating in between the towns. It, it's just that's crazy. It looks so bad. Like, and everyone's. Everyone's getting these similar glitches, and everyone's doing recordings of it and sending it off. So, like, this one was uh, titled, I see on um, uh, Twitter, uh, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Because it's like, the head is disassociating from the body, so where the head is supposed to be placed oh, hilarious. on the chest and formed down to the body, it's about probably four inches mm -hmm. diagonally away, so it's to the back. And so for this one, it's to the back and to the left when you're looking at the front of it. So it's like... <laughs> It just looks yeah. so wrong. And then you've got like, yeah, the arms are malformed and all funny shaped. It's just, didn't work. That's crazy. That's funny because I just watched uh, Infinity Stones or uh, whatever you call yeah. it on the flight up here. So where are you? Um,. Indiana. Okay. So I'm in uh, South Bend, which is right near, uh, like, Notre Dame. Okay. <laughs> Guy went into the gambit. Into gambit? He went and invaded. And he had 15 moats on him when he went and invaded. And he team wiped them while he held 15 moats for his team. Oh, who did that? Uh, let's see, the guy that tweeted out, uh, King Kiowa. Uh, Kakis and Mesa liked it, which is why it came up on my feed. I don't know who he is, but yeah, he did like a team wipe, but gotcha. he was sniping with his uh, Whisper and just headshot them all. That's oh, crazy. Yeah, can you still get the whisper? Yeah. Yeah, I got mine a week or two ago. It's every weekend. Yeah, I still need every to do weekend, that. Every um, weekend, you go down to IO, you wait for the specific event, you then fan out, you look for the guy, you kill him. Once you kill this guy, then a portal opens up. And by that time, you need to make sure that you're already in a group yeah. of three. And uh, once you everyone loads in through that portal then the timer will start not until and uh yeah you run through the whole thing and uh get all the kills you need to and kill the boss at the end and if you do it within the time frame you then have uh whisper of the worm yeah i've done it a couple times we just never completed never finished yeah. it i did it a couple times by myself just to get in there and kind of do the maze a little bit and get used to yeah. it Are you here? It says you left. Oh. Mm. I was flying in. Try it again. God, I, got, I, I have your ship on my left, and I don't have your banner on the right. <coughs> <coughs> there we are. There we go. Yeah, my my buddy Shashi, he uh he was on like vacation last week and didn't get to play at all. But I don't know when he's getting back. Okay, so you're gonna run your striker titan through uh, the strikes because we need to be of the same subclass type to run the. the... Oh wait, hold on, hold on. How do I not? I thought he was. Hold on a second, let me get my phone. 
I think I, I think I might have sent my higher level weapons to my other guy, Oops. and then realized he was too low light level use to them. use them. Yeah. Uh, what I did was I started putting. Um, once I started running my Titan, he was getting close enough. I kept some blues from my um, hunter on him, and then I transferred them over because at about forty seven, those become equipable. And at forty, so at forty seven. It doesn't matter what his power level is, it's automatically going to be 500. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put, I could have, I put a couple blues, but I thought... Okay, I put that one on, that made me... Three... Oh... Uh, uh. <coughs> I guess I guess five oh two is the max I got. If I... Yeah, unfortunately. Oh no no no! I got to, I got to change that. Okay, they were both five hundred. I had a sniper in the kinetic slot like, primary column. Yeah. Okay. So what do we need to do? You said I need to switch. So something. are you planning on running your striker? Um, I mean, I can switch to whatever. What are you wanting to run? Because then I'll just match you. Uh, we I, striker's fun. And I will run arc. Flux, perfect. Because for the strikes to count towards your um, engram, they need to be of the same. So element, element. Oh, what a! What what? You good? So what is that for? Yeah, what is that for? The, the... arc. Yeah, like why do they have to be the same? Because for the milestone. You want to match. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even look at the milestones on him. The milestone for everyone oh. is uh, weekly uh, complete strikes using a subclass of the same light element as a team member. Can't get mine to pop up when it's on the screen. Like the map, you know, when you pull the left trigger? No, that's not how you do it anymore. So go down to Vanguard, select A. And then go to the very middle one, that's your Vanguard. And it'll have the challenge at the bottom. Oh, okay, I see now. They change it around. I got you. Okay. Oh. Three missions. Okay, that makes more sense. Duh. That's not bad design. I still kind of like that in the trigger because then I could see all of it right there. <clears throat> yeah. Guy did a triple headshot kill. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Ha, <laughs> 
the caption is when your controller disconnects in the middle of a game and it's a guy jumping off of a platform and I guess it's like doing a pose that creates a big splash because he does this huge belly flop but he's like, he's like, he jumps in the air, he's doing the slow spin, and he's like, got this pose going, which is very similar to like, you freeze mid game, and like, your character, like, head, everything doesn't change, and he just keeps moving forward. Now this other guy doesn't have to be like... No, he doesn't. Just two people need to. But he will most likely arc. be running arc because okay. the arc is the actual burn. So everything goes by really quickly with arc. Gotcha. Well, that being said, let me see what my weapons are. I should see what I'm running. I don't need to have it on for it to count. Have any voids? Arcs? I've got a rocket launcher. Sure. Can I put that bow down? I don't know if I can. Cut and run, I tried that. That gun sucks. The thing was doing. So I took uh, the scout rifle because I wanted to run a shotgun in my kinetic slot. <clears throat> and it was doing Excellent. 30 damage Are you linked up? Uh, on one scout shot, and that was like a crit. Operation it was just so unusable, I was like, and I'm done with that one. That one doesn't do near enough damage. And it was a slow firing. Get off this line over there. You still there? Uh-oh. Why am I disconnected? Because he's not even in here. That's going to be the hotel Wi Fi. Yep. I don't even know if we're gonna, what we're going to be able to do together here if that's. Hey team, we found a taken blight. It's doing all kinds of crazy things to the water and the soil. Monster, I need to know who this guy is. This aggressive since the Grissom messed the system. Since Oryx. I don't be ready for anything. Come on, let me go. Let me go. Is he arc? Please tell me he's arc. I can switch right now easy enough. He's solar. Okay, so we're gonna go solar. Everything is slow now because it's trying to reconcile what was going on. Destroyed the taken miasma. This area is no longer infected. 
good work. There's bound to be more than one. All right. We're still having this issue. The leap party, because it just corrupts whatever's going on. Um, give him the time. Let him send us the party invite. He may not be able to play with people. See if we can. Yeah, oh, he's. Oh, there he is. Everything is running slow now. I'm still tracking taken energy nearby. Hey, Headless, welcome to the stream, man. Water facility. And under it. Whatever's hey, you gotta figure it out. Hey, I'm back. Yeah, it just like kicked me completely out of the game. Oh, like I'm still... And then when I tried to reconnect, it wouldn't connect. So I I did a hard reset, and then when I reset, it was like, hey, we don't like where you are. You need to sign in manually. <laughs> but it made me sign into Xbox Live like manually. You know, because I'm out of town yeah, and all that unsecured internet was, uh, and all that good stuff. Are you able to join on now? So. Hmm. Are you able to join on? I'm here now. Awesome. Um, yep. I joined on with him, so we're running solar, so you're getting to switch to solar. This is the most ambitious ticket operation since Orcs led their charge. The I didn't know whether or not your uh, Done. hotel internet was going to be back in or not. I'll bet yep. they're as monstrous as he is. Full box there he is, too. I'm playing catch up now. Yep, it's all good. Uh, just be ready because they're. they're uh, ah, I'm sorry. Just die. Thank you. They're they're hard. <clears throat> oh, this is one of those new strikes. Yep. No, this is a uh, old one. This is a year old now. This is from Destiny uh, PlayStation. Oh, is yeah, it? This is the PlayStation one.
coming for you. Ho, ho, ho. Tell my whole system went all buggy with uh, you having been kicked out and made to do all of that. I guess it was under this like it was nervous of my account too then or whatever. It was like just slow and like I could tell like there was like not necessarily a full frame rate drop or anything happened, just like lots of choppiness to it. Yeah. Yeah, my internet's super sketch right now. Well, it's ho hotel internet, right? You got a lot of people that are streaming, a lot of people that are. Trying to do conference calls. They just I even like I even upgraded it to their like like where I pay like five bucks a day. Mm. So interesting fact, my super will not kill those blades. You won't hit them if they're immune to the super. It's 500 power, and it's a very unforgiving 500 power. It feels closer to like a 520, I would say. I don't know if that's just another modifier I'm not thinking of, but it's, what, Blackout and Grenadier. Like, none of that should be making it that much more difficult. Yeah, I got. <clears throat> I gotta start playing a little more conservative. <laughs> now, let's get off to the side and shoot some people.
Damn. The little yellow bar guy like just wrecked my world. Just tickled. <laughs> Do you like the uh, engrams all auto encrypting? Or no? Auto decrypting. Yeah, like your purples and everything. You haven't. Uh, you're not taking them to uh, Rasta Rule anywhere. They auto decrypt. Oh, I got. I got one. I guess it's one of those weekly things or. I think he... did he? Yeah, he's not here. Maybe he got kicked or something. Now there he is. There he is. He, he, uh... I think he just, uh, revived himself. I'm focusing ads right now. Yeah, that's the, uh, I believe that was the PlayStation exclusive strike we just got. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't done that one before. Steadfast Engram? Against this. Yeah. You guardians Ooh, of blessing. Nameless Midnight. Thank you, sir. Civilians and guardians can stand side by we'll side. Take that. And accomplish anything. I could listen to you two talk all day. <laughs> oh. I have four gauntlets all the same. See, did I? Had it. Oh, y'all must have done a lot of stuff before I got there. Yeah. Takes time to do those uh, resets and everything, right? Yeah, because I had like no kills. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I've got a 509 Prime Engram. I got to decrypt. You need to go to the tower? Uh, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, I think that window, unfortunately, went by. That way you can go ahead and... You good for one more strike? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, I've almost finished this ginormous salad. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what I can do to my salad to make them more filling. Oh my god, you can go to a grocery store and put like a half a pound of chicken and ham and bacon. Oh, but see, and I'm covered like, in ranch. The bacon I'm trying to get away from because I'm trying to get my weight down. I'm 207. I'd like to get down to 175 if possible. And, uh, like, I've just, like, I've tried chicken, I've done all of those things, and it's like, within an hour, I'm still hungry. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. My doctor said that I probably stretched yeah, my I'm... stomach out, that I need to, uh, start, um, cutting back my food, my stomach will go downsize, and my weight will come way down. Which I think it already has come down a fair bit. 
Yeah, I need to do the same. I'm like, I'm like 275 right now, and I need to get down to about 225. <laughs> I'm a big dude in general. Like I'm, I'm six six. Ooh. Yeah, 225 would be a good mark to try and get to uh, being six six. You get the uh, issue then, especially had, like, staying massive... at the hotel, that uh, your feet are always drooping over the feet of the bed. Asher's not the only one with a score. Oh. <laughs> you know, not as much as you'd think. Most beds are are okay. My father-in-law, I think he's six four, and that's his his biggest concern is that the beds never fit him. For me, it's usually the shower. Mm. Well, my father-in-law came and sat uh, to uh, my new place here, and he loved it. He was like, cause he, it's just like he, he has to crouch down so often in houses just because he just feels crowded. And he said, it's, he, he can always tell when it's a really nice high vaulted ceiling. Cause he, he, he just naturally will stand straight. Where otherwise he's always concerned about hitting his head if he does. Yeah, every every doorway in my house is eight foot. You have your houses got that house built for you then, or are they naturally that way? Then? That seems like really uh, big. Nah, they were naturally. Wow. They were naturally that way. That area naturally have stairs that tall. Oh yeah. Oh. Like in the cost of living in Tennessee is is way less than other places. Mm. So like. It's it, when people move from like say like California or something to uh, Tennessee, they're just like thrown back at the amount of house you can get. It's, I think I think we bought our house for like five hundred thousand. Yeah. It's it's like forty six hundred square feet. So it's like a it's like massive house. But if you go if you go other places. Uh, a 4,600 foot square foot house, like in California, is like 1. 3 million. million or like it, yeah. yeah, it's something crazy. <clears throat> well, it's our, our market up here by Vancouver, it's just, it's so unhealthy. Well, you don't get a lot of bang for your buck, or? Uh, so right now, for uh, one million dollars, um, <clears throat> you can get an unlivable in-house. <clears throat> for about eight hundred thousand yeah, dollars, you can get a six hundred square foot apartment in Vancouver. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, if you go um, a little bit east of there and you live in Surrey. <clears throat> for about eight hundred thousand dollars, you can get a small, um, like twelve, maybe eighteen hundred square foot house for seven hundred thousand dollars. Ah, isn't that crazy? A lot of people my age, they're all like, "Well, how can I like? I can't retire. I can't buy in this market." But at the same time, a lot of these people, they're all, um, hey, let's go out and let's rank up, rack up a $300 um, drinking tab at uh, the bar tonight. And it's like, well, you're you're complaining you don't have money, but you regularly are going out drinking. It's like, that's not cheap. Yeah. Yeah, the, the wife and I went out Saturday night. She had a friend from college uh, in town. And we went to this place to eat, and it was like 200 bucks. And then we went to, they were staying at this like really nice hotel downtown. And we went there and had, I had three drinks there. And my wife had three glasses of wine, and it was 100 bucks. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm so glad we don't ever do this, ever. We got, like I said, we got three small kids, so we're pretty much homebodies. Yeah. 
Well, I'm trying to get my wife to understand that that is the better choice, but she has a hard time with that because I think she's, firstly she's um, uh, she's an extrovert. I'm an introvert, so it's natural for me to stay indoors and hard for her, and natural for her to go outdoors. But it's if you want to go outside, you can go outside. But it's learning that balance of okay, well we can go outside, but then you can't do this, you can't. And she's starting to get a handle on like she has, she's understanding the budget aspect more. Like her parents did her zero favors, like zero favors. She didn't know how to budget when I got married to her. She didn't know a whole lot of that stuff. So it was a lot of getting her caught up to where as an adult she could be. And she's looked at it and she's very grateful that, you know, we've we've worked uh, on that and we've gotten to the point where, you know, we've got a fairly good marriage and we'll have a what looks like oops. We oh, have nah, he's too far back. Origins of the Vex. He gotcha. They are not born like humans. They are not created like exos. Uh, so Yeah, my wife my her her folks are like I mean like fucking loaded rich, like oh, wow. next level. Yeah. Which, it'd be great if they were like nice, but it's <laughs> not the case. Were they, did you have their blessing when you married then, or was it kind of a, why are you marrying this dude? Uh, when I asked their permission to marry her, they were like, so have you been through a Caroline fat fit? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, they're like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, they were, they were like trying to talk her down. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, they didn't offer me anything not to, but <laughs> I felt like that was the next step. Well, and it was uh, my uh, father-in-law at the wedding day was asking her, like, are you sure? Like, I can take you right now and we'll just leave. And it's like, wow, what support of parents? <laughs> like, my parents are like, they're... Like, whether it's partially because they just want to treat me, because they, they don't, still don't receive me as an adult, I don't know. But, like, I didn't necessarily have their full encouragement, like, particularly my dad. But they never said, like, hey, wait, why are you marrying her? Where, like, for them, I think it was, like, literally, like, he's not going to be able to provide for you. Look at him. Like, like, that level of, like, distaste for me. And now it's, like, they come to me when they are looking for advice or and it's just like and all the while i'm helping them i'm doing all this and i know in the back of my head it's like you guys were trying to talk her out of marrying me i was going to be the no good son-in-law da, 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 and now you guys are here leaning on yeah. me looking at me and asking and and now here we are and this may be set up my wife to be Impossible. able to retire the most comfortably of all of their kids. So it's just like, just give your head a shake. Let's do this. Let's see what this does. <laughs> that does not work at all. What? What were you I, doing? I'm trying to figure out what, like, I, before with the, um, uh, Gunslinger, that new super for the gunslinger. I thought you could be like slightly huh? above when you kill the ads, but now I'm having less and less of a feeling like that. It seems like you've got to be on level with them for to AOE around. What do you? What is? Is it the knife one? Yeah, he basically throws a whole bunch of knives around in a circle type of thing. There should be a wanted guy here. Yep, there he is. Whoa! I'm just nameless midnighting in the face over and over and over again. He's almost dead. Finally noticed me. Well, I was right beside him with my shotgun, so he had, uh... Yeah, he's dead. He had some pretty, uh... <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, damn, this Nameless is doing a, doing work. And that, that was... <laughs> I didn't realize you had a yeah, shotgun. Yeah, I had my shotgun. I was standing right beside him and just pop, 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 pop. I put, like, five shots in him. Did he, did he drop anything? Uh, I don't know what the point of killing them is. If it just goes towards your triumph, you're supposed to go around and kill all of them, or at least one is. 
or if it's just for those bounties with spider, or I don't know what exactly their purpose is yet. Okay, did we do the one here? No, we did not. Thank you. I didn't do the one down low. I did it. I'm getting the right one. Okay. And I'm heading to the left. <clears throat> Yeah, my, my in-laws have like two airplanes and stuff. Wow. Like you think, yeah, you think like we could like use them? That would be incorrect. Even your daughter can't use them? Nope. <laughs> and she's the only daughter. And she's, she's the only daughter too. So the only child and... She's going to Chicago. Yeah, she's, she's going to Chicago, uh early next month for the uh, marathon and you'd think they'd be like oh hey why don't you take the plane and you know no they don't even offer it have they always been that cold to her? Um, or just since her mom was like real controlling growing up and yeah, like, yeah, like real bad. And so like she decided to go to, we, she lives in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. She decided to go to school in Florida to like, try to like get away a little bit. Yeah. And they literally just went and bought a house in Florida. <laughs> Like down the street from the university, and, stuff. and that's where they stayed because they didn't want her being away from them. Yep. And then, so my wife, when I first met her, was was like a little on on the like heavy side a little yeah. bit because she just like beat her sorrows away, yeah. which was good for me because I'm kind of goofy looking. <laughs> uh, Make, makes you a little bit more desirable. So when we yeah. So when we started dating, um, she kind of got into running or Fitness. started like working out and stuff like that. And she lost like a ton of, like my wife's thin, like she runs marathons. Wow. And, you know, I played college sports, so I wouldn't like, I mean, I wouldn't like out of shape or anything, but. No, but you take two steps and you'll be done a marathon. Well, I wasn't this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and she got like confidence and. You know, started. Oh wow! I can do things on my own, and I can. And, you know, and her mom didn't like that, of course. Oh dear! Oh dear! Yeah, he's almost dead. Yowza! Well, thank you. Well, thank you. There we go. Thank goodness. I. But anyway, she she got around like my mom, and my mom's like like the nicest lady on the planet. Yeah, and she was building her and up. She and she started to realize. Yep. Yeah, she started to realize like, oh wow, your mom's not supposed to talk to you like that and make you feel like that. <laughs> her mom's one of those people who thinks she's the most selfless person on the planet. Yeah. Yet she's the the most selfish person on the planet. Yeah. My wife, when we, we, we started to try to have like kids yeah. and it just, it didn't happen for a long time and she had a miscarriage. And my mother-in-law, she was like, she was telling her to calm down or something like that. And my wife finally broke down and said, look, you don't understand. You don't know what I'm going through. And my mother-in-law went off on her and said, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. This is harder on me than it is you. <laughs> And from that point forward, I had pretty much lost all respect for my mother-in-law. Yeah, well. 
So we we adopted a kid. We tried and tried, never happened. So we adopted a kid, and we were just buying a kid, and it was going to be awful, and you know all this stuff. And we were using them for their money, even though they didn't give us any money. <laughs> like I work at the company that her dad owned, mm -hmm. but like I don't have like a like a patsy job like I run a manufacturing facility yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> there's no faking that you're not, you're I got not sitting in a people corner doing uh, your thumbs while she's paying you a whole bunch yeah. of money yeah exactly but uh, sounds a lot like yeah. uh, my uh, in-laws in are see I've got two separate in-laws <coughs> <coughs> the one that was trying to um, tell my wife to just leave me and don't bother marrying this sucker. And then the other one that's been really supportive and everything. And all the while, it's like we went and we merged our accounts. Like it was like we're married. Everything goes through both of us. Like we're not separating nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah. her mom was just kind of like, well, why does her money have to go towards the bills? Why, like, th th that's not fair. She should be able to spend whatever she wants with anything that she earns. <laughs> and uh, her uh, her other mom was kind of like, really? Do you really want her? Is like, and she just said, I have, all of my stuff is all shared with my husband. It's not separated. And it was just like, yeah, just some real pieces of work. It's just like. And, and maybe, who knows, maybe that's why they're separated. I remember dating her for the first while, and uh, her parents were in two separate rooms, watching the exact same show on the exact same channel, but in two separate rooms. And I'm just sitting there and playing this game with her, and I've got that slight echo, because like both the TVs weren't quite in sync. So it was just that little bit, like that yeah. quarter of a second off. And I was like, what is going on? And then I realized that they're watching the exact same show, but they're just slightly out of sync, and I was like, are they always watching the same show in two different rooms? And she was just like, yeah. And I was like, that's rough. That's crazy. That's just crazy. We received limited intel regarding a Vex information detail. Yeah, but I want you to get in there trying to rein my wife in sometimes on spending is... Well, she's probably used to having that limitless because of her how much her parents had when she was growing up. But it wasn't much of a no, I imagine. Oh, hello, Failsafe. What can you tell us about this terminal? I have not detected significant Vex activity on, in that area load. since shortly after the there Exodus yes. Black awesome. arrived. Well, that's good news. Maybe we won't run into much. Man, we gotta keep this guy for all three of these yeah, so far. But since Dad kind of follows you around, I wouldn't count on that. Supposed to go to those ever, I see. dots. Yeah. The direction that Alchemy Alchini Alchini came over here. Well, I just joined a heroic event. Oh no no no! I go finish that if you want. Oops! Now I'm loading. Yeah. And then join us. Loading. I am buffering. I just feel bad for her one brother because he's uh, probably about 20. Just realized that I'd actually. You've just realized you're. I had the mute button on. I'm like, where are you guys? <laughs> like, it won't bring up a thing where I can find y'all. What strike is? What strike is this? You gotta go down into that in between that chasm, and there's an opening there. Okay. Um, but uh, he, how did it go? Uh, he, like, he can't hold down a job. He, he's drained his father's account, like, it's done. There's, like, nothing in there. 
He gets a little bit coming in on a monthly basis, but it's not technically enough to even take care of himself. And he still gives from that to his son that had a, isn't going to have a future at this room. So it's like one day, and we've wanted him to charge him with um, elder abuse. Which is basically that he's stealing from someone that he shouldn't be, but unless his da her, uh, her dad says yes to it, we can't do anything about it. And everyone's all upset with Abe, and it's like you know, he's not exactly helping himself here. Like he could say no, but you notice he's not. It's like that's that's not uh, helping here either. And they recognize that, but they also are ignoring it at the same point because they're just like whatever he's. He's the real problem. It's like, okay, fine, whatever. Ooh, he is almost dead. Alright, I went... I went in the hole. I went, did you go through a portal? No. Oh, wait, now y'all are out here. Hold on. Okay. It wouldn't show me where y'all were. Uh, the blackout is on, so you gotta pull up your ghost and then it can bring you some markers. There it goes. We're gonna be almost done the strike by the time you find the whole. This is one of the harder ones to find. Right. What strike? This is another one of those. Is this a new strike? Yes. Okay, it says joining allies. There we go. Yeah. was wearing commander regalia. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So like, so like my father-in-law is actually, for the most part, he's pretty cool. He's just terrified of my mother-in-law, <laughs> and he's like. And he's like the genius, like businessman. Yeah. And she's the genius spender. No, she was like, I don't know. She's just, she's just crazy. Uh. So have I never told you the story, like, of our company? No. So like, okay, so we make like uh, wire harnesses and dashes and panels for boats. Oh, okay. For like the marine industry. <clears throat> so we're talking so, residential uh, or commercial or both? Uh, re both. Okay. But mainly, mainly like residential, yeah. like uh, like deck boats and uh, Mastercraft is our biggest customer. Okay. So uh, we like we make all OEM, you know, stuff that comes on the boat, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But am I going the wrong way? No, you're good. I'm just loading. Gotta go down here. There you go. Yeah, I was going, I was going under that, and it was like shocking me as I did it. Yeah, um, it does shock you. <clears throat> but anyway, back in back in 2007. Right before the old uh, American economy tank, we sold the company for thirty million dollars. And, uh, and then the economy tanked, and the 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 company started like hemorrhaging money. Like we were losing like three hundred thousand dollars a month because the boating industry went down like ninety percent. Yeah. Because when the economy goes bad, the first thing people quit it's buying is like boats and RVs yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, they people that bought the company from us basically went back to my father-in-law and them and were like, "Hey, we want y'all to buy the company back because if they buy the company back, they don't have to like fully report it." Yeah. I don't know something about it. Like, if you sell it back to the old owners, you don't have to report all the figures. Yeah. So. My father-in-law bought the company back for a dollar. A dollar? Maybe if we catch him. One dollar. Oh, yeah, I gotta go grab the things. So, two years ago, they he got another wild hair up his ass and decided he wanted to sell again. So, two years ago, he just sold it for thirty-five million dollars again. Same company. <laughs> when they sold it the first time, I got a five thousand dollar bonus. And he sold it for thirty million. 
And when he sold it this last time for $35 million, he got a $15,000 bonus. Yeah, you know what the other plant manager got? What? $150,000. Oh, he gave you the real middle finger. Yep. He gave my wife a whopping uh, $15,000 as well. So the one guy made more than both of you combined. Yeah. We were supposed to get 20 apiece, but somebody else needed some money, so they took it out of ours. Instead of just dipping out between the three of you, they just took it out of two of you. Correct. So we have, like right now, we have six plants. When we sold, we had five plants. So every plant manager got... One got ten times as much as I did. Like the maintenance man at my plant got the same amount as I did. <laughs> like maintenance as in he did light bulbs or...? Yeah. He also made like molds. Like we, we make molds for... Uh, for bodies? Uh, for like dashes and okay. stuff, so like yeah. we make molds and then we vacuum form them, so like we yeah. pull them out of plastic. Same thing with uh, hot tubs. Like he does that too, but yeah, yeah. he makes. But he's, he's lower down on the um, yeah. pay and oh yeah, wall and all that. Then. All right, I'm coming over there. I just realized. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of crazy, and like, now don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, like before the sale, when it, you know, I was making, like, good money, you know, more than I should have. Uh, it's like, I got a salary, I had a base salary, and then, you know, our, my father-in-law paid us, like, a portion of his salary. My mother-in-law did not know about this. Oh, she kept the, he kept the <laughs> radius. He knew that she was going to flip on that. Yeah, he knew she'd complain. Yeah. Sorry, I was about to die. I had okay. to pop. But when they when they sold the company this last time, my wife and I took a seventy percent pay cut. And my wife hasn't fully understood what a seventy percent pay cut is because her spending did not change at all. Well, and a lot of people, like, they've had some studies done, and it's been proven that people don't, whenever they get a raise, often they don't have any extra money in the account at the end of the month because their cost of living went up to the same factor. So Yeah, I and, like, since since then we, we've added, you know, we added a kid to the mix yeah. and... So, so basically, the only contribution that we get from my in-laws is they pay for our kids' school. Okay. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, but like we weren't going to put them in private school yeah. until they got older. Um, and they were like, no, they, they have to go to a private school, you know. They have to go to this place. So that's the one thing they do do, but that's, I mean, that's it. <laughs> they don't keep the kids. They used to live, uh, like, like, in our neighborhood, like the same neighborhood. Uh, they lived down the street, and they paid, like, all this money to put in a, uh, like, nursery and all this stuff, you know, for the kids. Mm -hmm. And our kids never slept there one time. Ooh. Okay, don't get hit by that. 
Is this, is this a new strike? Yeah. Okay, I've never done this one. Yeah, this is another one of the new ones. It looks like Cargan is using that complex to access the data artifact. Get me I don't know if this is another PlayStation exclusive or if this one's from... <coughs> Forsaken. I'm coming. This guy is good. We're better. Oh. Ah, come on! Every time I shoot him, he's jetting off somewhere. He is quick. Oh yeah, he moves around fast. You down? Oh, there he is. pretty fun. Location secured, Commander Zavala. Angry. Good work, Guardian. What in the There's an almost unreadable data artifact here labeled Oxa. It's heavily corrupted, but I'm able to make out M Sund 12 from the access log. What is Oxa and who was M Sun 12? Those are questions for another day, I suppose. But for now... She's got a... secondary bow. Or uh, whatever you call it. Uh, new kind of bow and arrow. Oh, a new bow and arrow? What's it called? <coughs> uh, Ar Arsenic Bite 4B. I'll take a look and see if I have it. Tower. It 
it's in my secondary slot, but it says it's a primary ammo. Yeah, it sounds like it might be one that I have. I'm looking for more recipes all the time for me to make for the family so we can get a little healthier. Because right now it's like... Uh, what has changed now? It's usually the password. We entered an old password. Poopy pants is my phone. There it is. Okay, there we go. All right, this is crazy. I'm not used to playing on a TV. What do you usually play on? I have like a in my I have like a movie room, so I have like a projector, so my screen's usually like in foot. So in the hotel, this it's like I don't know, it's just really different. <laughs> the picture is a lot, you know, it's a little bit more crisp. Master. I'm gonna have to get it going because I gotta pick up the family in uh, 20 minutes here. You gonna be on uh, a little okay. later? Yeah, no worries. Still in a hotel then for the evening, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll be on till about. Probably don't want to stay on any later than like 11 or so. 11 and that's central. It's probably like 9 o'clock your time. So I'll be probably when I off. Uh, Eastern. Eastern? Yeah, I'll be off. Yeah, I'm actually I'm Eastern here. Yeah. I'll be off then. Probably. Who knows? I can get a wild hair up my ass and play later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have anything over 500 on Sky. Really? Oh, this one. Hey, I hit 510 today. Yeah, I'm 504 right now. What else do I need? <coughs> Welcome, Guardian. 
So when you do those three strikes, do you have to go to Zavala to get your thing? Uh, it either will, no, it'll um, be in your inventory and you go to the, the, uh, the Crypt Dark and he'll decrypt it for you. Um, or it'll be in the Postmaster, you gotta pick it up from there and uh, he'll um, decrypt it to you, for you at the Crypt Dark. Gotcha. Hell is unbridled enthusiasm. I don't know. Kind of sounds like a. It's an exotic. It's an exotic. Something. Yeah, it was an exotic. It's not. A, is that a weapon? No, it came from. Eververse. Oh, it's probably a emote. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Like. I gotta adjust, make, let me go to the Xbox settings. It's like, the screen, like, when I get engrams, it's kind of off, like, off the screen. What yeah. can I do for you, Guardian? I have that with my Xbox and this, uh, console right now. It's... Eververse thanks you. Excellent choice. Thanks for shopping. Subtle Calamity is the one I'm currently running. And then I've got the no turning back in my kinetic slot. Stay here on Earth. But I don't have the one you have. Less complicated. What's that? I, you don't have the what? The bow you have? Oh, the bow. See, someone was posting that there was one that people are getting a whole bunch of with the same roll. And apparently it's a god roll, but everyone's getting this, it to come with this roll. So it seems like it's not a, a random rolled weapon. It's a fixed rolled uh, bow. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Polymer string. Carbon arrow shaft. Archer's tempo. Uh, something for stability and range. Explosive head. Light and stable shaft material, and then rampage kills with this weapon. Temporary grant increased damage. Stacks three times. That's not bad. Is that uh, hurricane gonna hit close to you guys? We all appreciate it. No. No. They're good. No. I'm. I'm. Indiana's kind of like up near, it's near uh, like Michigan, like near the Great Lakes. It's kind of like right up there in the middle of the country. Oh, okay. And then Tennessee's far enough away from uh, from the coast. Like for me to go to the ocean either east or south, it's like it's like an 8 to 10 hour drive south. And then it's probably like a 12 hour drive east. So um, we're, we'll get we'll get some residual rain if it comes this way, but that's about it. Okay, uh, you said it was the arsenic bite B, 4B? Yeah. Okay, so that's the one that people are getting, having dropping a whole bunch. And a lot of people apparently they're having mm -hmm. it uh, with the same role. I just DM'd you on Discord um, the tweet. Uh, it's from Holtzman. And a lot of people have been saying, so I don't know if you got this role. If you got this role, it's being considered a god role. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where'd my phone go? Man, I don't even know if I have Discord on my phone. I 
I did. Did you? No. You've been there a while. Yeah. Stream. We're gonna host. Let's see who on oh, there. It's live. <coughs> Here we are. Home sweet home. A house where magic lives. Solving problems out of the world, huh? 